Well, athletes in all sports, team or individual, 2020 was a unique year to say the least. And unique is you can unpack that word quite a bit. I would have to sit here and say, again, individual team sports, uh, any athlete um, in 2020, you would I'd put you in the top five of journey, um, wild. Um, uh, also, um, I would say potentially anxious, anxiety. What, what did you learn from mm-hmm. 2020? You said about growing as a person. What, what, your 2020 campaign um, that did end up, obviously, with you signing with a new team. What, what did you learn about mm-hmm. yourself, Bubba Wallace? That there's no, there's no such thing as pressure anymore. <laughs> Uh, when you have the uh, the weight of the world on your shoulders, and you have basically the, all the eyes in the world watching you, you know, go through all those things, and to still be able to come out and produce really good race results for our team at the time, you know, it just shows people talk about, man, there's got to be so much pressure uh, racing or driving for MJ in the position you're in now. And I said, if you watch last year. This is nothing but a cakewalk now, so I'm all right. <laughs> right. So everything from here on out becomes that just what much more um, easier, for the lack of a better phrase. It just it because it, you've already yeah, been through. Yeah, I'd say that. You know, I don't exactly know how to put it, but right. I, I mean that's that's the easiest way to put it. I mean, it's it's just <sighs> to be honest with you, Rich. It was it was so much so much going on, like. Like sometimes I, I didn't even you know focus on getting sleep because I was just doing so much. I was just being pulled in so so many different directions. Or you know I would you know sit here and live with my girlfriend and you know forget to say hey to her just just because there was so much mm. that had your mind elsewhere. And it was just like wow. So to be able to navigate through that and people ask what one of my what one of my strengths is, and I say compartmentalizing things. Being able to focus on one thing. If I have ten things on the schedule, somehow, and I have a race at the end of that schedule, somehow my mind is still ready to go and to be able to produce a result for the race. So like compartmentalizing things and not letting things get built up too much. I, I've crashed. I've had that crashing moment where things have gotten too much, but for the most part, it, it's been it's been on the positive side. And um, you know, where do you stand on the subject of mixing uh, real world stuff? Um, and, and, and sports, where, where do you now stand having gone through 2020, finding yourself at the forefront of conversations, uh, about the American flag, about, um, so much. And of the, I mean the, you know, the, uh, the Confederate flag I meant obviously, and the, mm-hmm. and w- mm-hmm. where do you stand on the subject matter of using your platform to speak about something outside of NASCAR, uh, or sports? Where do you stand on that subject? Yeah. Well, so uh, I've, I've, what I've been saying, we are we are the entertainment. People love to get away from real world problems to turn on football, to turn on baseball, basketball, NASCAR, and they're like, yes, I don't have to deal with whatever problems I have going on for the next three to four hours. I get to watch my favorite athletes perform. Mm-hmm. Well, the athletes are saying, this is our everyday life, and we have real-world problems, too. And if I gain a following from my profession and I say one thing, and that's going to get people to stand up and listen and take take pride in that and want to be a part of something much greater than themselves, then absolutely, I'm going to do that. So this whole mixing politics with sports, it's not politics. It's Again, it's being a human being. It's experiencing what life is thrown at you. Yes, my my voice carries weight other than Jim Bob down the road here. Like, yeah. Like that's just that's how society is. I believe that we are all the same. We put on our pants the same way. We bleed the same way. We cry the same way. But just because I'm an athlete and I drive cars and I'm on television on Sundays means I am I means I am already automatically greater than anybody else that's around me, which I don't believe that. I believe no matter what I do, what I say, it's the same as if somebody else said it, but the way society had puts us on this pedestal, um, you know, our voices impact on a much greater level. And I've I've had to find my way of, of you know, overstepping boundaries throughout my year and knowing like, 
oh, okay, this is totally different from thinking that I'm just Bubba Wallace, the guy just, who just happens to be a race car driver on the weekends. No, I'm, I'm the race car driver every day of the week. And, uh, and so using my platform to create, you know, good, um, for, for all of us, uh, I'll continue to do that till, till I, I can't do it anymore.